when you start meditating, it's like starting a fire. At first it's just a little tiny match. You've got this big pile that you want to set fire to. And sometimes there's wind, sometimes there's rain. So you've got to protect that little match. You protect the flame as you're starting it. Be very careful. Buddha says right concentration is the four jhanas. The word jhana is related to a verb for burning, jayati. Pali has lots of different verbs for burning. And jayati is a verb for a flame that burns steadily, like the flame of an oil lamp. So our mind is normally flickering all over the place. You want to adjust the flame so that it's steady. So you take your habit of talking to yourself and you talk to yourself about the breath. You have this habit of paying attention here, paying attention there. Try to focus it on one thing, on the breath. And then protect that stillness. Don't pay any attention to anything outside or any of the thoughts that come up into the mind. They'll be there. It's just like starting a fire. You can't wait until the rain goes away and you can't wait until the wind stops. You've got to get the fire going. So you protect it. You focus on protecting it and after a while it begins to catch. And then you get some warmth from the center of the mind, this stillness of the mind. Because it gives you a good place to stay inside. If you don't have a good place to stay inside, it's like someone who doesn't have a comfortable home. They go out wandering on the streets. They can get into all kinds of danger. So you stay in the safety of your home by creating a good place to stay. So look after this. Make the breath comfortable. Make the mind at ease with the breath. Make yourself confident that this is something really worth doing, getting the mind to stay in one place. Because there are a lot of times in life when you have to stick with a particular issue. And the consistency of your focus and the consistency of your concentration is going to make a difference between understanding and not understanding what's going on and being able to think up a solution. And then as aging comes, illness comes, as death comes, you don't want to get distracted by these things. You want to maintain the well-being of the mind, even as the body ages, grows ill, dies. You don't want that to impinge on the well-being of the mind, so you look after this. Maintain this as best you can. And get used to fighting off distractions. The best way, of course, is just simply not to pay attention to them. But there are other times when you have to encourage yourself to stay here, because otherwise the mind will tell itself, well, I have to think about this, I have to think about that, I've got this thing coming up, I've got that thing coming up. Well, no, not right now. Work on your concentration. Have a sense of priorities. And you can also think of the drawbacks of the things outside that would pull you away, that lure you away. Do they really give the happiness they promise or seem to promise? So there's some thinking that goes into protecting the mind right here. Other times, though, you can just be here steadily with the sensation, the breathing, and it just feels right. So learn how to think when you need to think and how to put the thoughts aside when you don't need them anymore. As a way of protecting this stillness you have inside, this small, steady flame that you're trying to develop. So this little spot of well-being can begin to spread and give you the foundation inside and give you the comfortable home that you need inside to protect all the good things that the mind develops.